Wow, you look great. Thank you very you much. Do. So do you. Very smart. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so, have we met before? On a, uh, I think I've talked to you before. Do you know that? Mel once, I was, uh, Mel B yes. was uh, a judge on mm -hmm. AGT and I became friendly with Mel. Yeah. And Mel was always on the phone with you. Uh-huh. During show. Yeah. She's always on the phone. Always on the phone. Yeah. She's always on the phone. Oh, she's always doing something she shouldn't be doing at the time. Right. You know? Well, one time our red buzzer didn't work. You know how you, <clears throat> you got a button. We were all pressing it because it was a horrible act on stage and we uh -huh. couldn't. And we, they shut the show down. They found out that Mel had pulled out the plug and, and was charging her phone. Well, so <laughs> she could call you. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. She's a very naughty girl. She is. Mm -hmm. Are you a naughty girl? I'm a very good girl. You're a good girl. You're yes. sporty. We're like yin and yang, me okay. and Mel B. The two males were very different, but we complement each other. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to compliment you. You were great on Dancing with the Stars. <gasps> Thank you so much. Was that a good experience? Ooh. Oh, my goodness. It was, you know what? It was nuts. It's like, it's so hard. I'm a hard worker. I'm not afraid of hard work. I'm sporty. I'm fit. Right. But it was grueling, like, yeah. more than I ever expected. People and don't realise, I try to tell them, dancing isn't as easy as it looks. Oh. I love, I'm, you know, I'm a dancer. Are so, you a dancer? Yeah, that's what, what kind I... What dancing do you do? Uh, mostly ballroom, but I'll do interpretive and... Oh, really? Classic. I'm classically trained, but it's not about me. It's about you. So you're in L.A. now. I absolutely love it here. I have had the best time. The show was great. I've done so many fun things while I've been here. I noticed that you, you went... Did you get a tattoo? I saw a picture that you posted at a tattoo parlor. You know, I, I didn't get a tattoo that particular day, but I was so keen to go back because I can't believe this particular tattoo store on Sunset... Right is exactly the same as in the 90s when I went with the Spice Girls. You got a tattoo at that place? I, I did back in the day. I what did it, in that you, time. You, what, what but I got it? my first three tats. I've got like one here, my band, and my... You can see them there, the band and the girl power on my shoulder. Yeah. Woman in strength, that's what it says. Right. My mum has that too. Your mum has it too? Yeah, and then I have a cross on my left arm. And they were all done at that tattoo parlor in the 90s. And, and it's still there. All the Spice Girls got tattoos there. Right. You, you also, your mum. Yeah. Yes, and you have, how old is your girl? My daughter's 12. 12 years old. Mm -hmm. oh, how do you feel about her being tattooed? Does she want a tattoo? Now I understand my parents when I first talked to them about me getting tattoos because, like, my dad was so against the idea. So your mother went with you and got one too? My mum was cool, but now I see my daughter. Obviously, you have a child yeah. and they're, they're so unblemished, aren't they? They're perfect. Yeah. And you just, don't you dare put anything on your skin. But I'm not a very good advert so you're for saying, not no, having you're not. tattoos. My daughter I? wanted a tattoo, too. Uh. I said no. She wanted um, a tattoo of a camel on her toe. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> she did. I said, I said, you know, that's a funny joke, but whatever. Th th do you regret any of your tattoos? I do. Do you know what? I have a love-hate relationship with them. And, yeah, it's funny because they tell stories, you know. It's different times in What's my life. What's the story right there? This one here? Yeah. This one says love, and this one says happiness. It's in Tibetan. And how do you know that's what it says? Um, how do you know it's not just something I from trust, the menu? I trust the <laughs> tattooist wholeheartedly. No, but I've had friends who've had things done in other languages, and then you go, have you talked to a real Tibetan well, not in the parlor? Do you know what I did? This is really quite an embarrassing story. So I was in Thailand, and in my head, it was in Thai. I knew at the time it was Tibetan. Oh, so you even got the I, language wrong. Yeah, and, and I said, I was in Thailand, and they were like, oh, what does it say? And it says, it says love and happiness. And they said, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You know that and I, I rang the fluent, guy. I speak fluent Tibetan. That's not what that says. No, you don't. I do. I do. And I don't want to say what that says, but I will tell you in the commercial, that does not say, I'm being serious with you, that does not say. You are winding me up. No. You are. No, I'm not. You tell me. So anyways, it's been <laughs> I love it. <laughs> It's been 25 years since you've had a Spice Girls, since the, the uh, debut, debut of, the, of yeah. the Spice Girls album. That's so amazing to me. And for the 25th anniversary, you're releasing a brand... Is this it right here? Yeah, so we have... I mean, it's really fun, actually. There's lots of different formats. There's been a remastered version, but there's also a version where we've delved into the archives and found unreleased tracks, demos, even just some stuff of us messing about in the studio. So it's some really fun... For the real old-school Spice Girls fans, they're just going to love it because there's a real insight into and those, those are, days. You don't have to be old-school. I noticed that when you did the last time, it's a, you're also doing a, uh, even if you are a Spice Girls fan, if you're a Sporties fan, if you're specifically a Sporty fan, mm -hmm. you have your own album, right? Don't you I have do. a solo album? 
Along with being a Spice Girl, I'm also a solo artist. I get it. And this album, yeah, it's really fun. I released it in lockdown, actually, which was kind of strange because it's quite dance inspired. It's a pop record. There's some like disco flavors, a little bit of house, some 90s stuff on there. And it's been so fun to promote, but I haven't had the chance to go and play it live yet. Are you going to tour it? I am. I'm touring the UK and Europe January, February. And then, you know, hopefully it'd be wonderful to come back and tour it here It'd as well. It'd be great. Well, talking about touring here, I, I watched uh, that, you know, you guys did the Spice Girls tour or through the UK, yeah. and then COVID happened. Is mm -hmm. there any chance that Spice Girls are going to come back on tour? I really hope so. We're talking about it. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yeah, we, we are talking about it constantly. It was always a plan. We did these amazing stadium shows in the UK and I Ireland. I saw them. They were amazing. It was Blew me the away. best thing we've ever done. The creative was so incredible. We had the best time. But we've got to come back because we love the US. Our fans here are amazing. So we will look forward to that tour. We'll go and buy yeah. the album. Oh, but look, 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 I brought you a present because obviously I know you and Mel are good buddies. Yes. That's you can get different ones. Like There's ones with like... Well, thank you. Sporty, Parting scary, gift. and yeah. I, I, love, I love this collection. The two males. You've got the yin and yang. I got the yin and the yang. Yeah, I got the B go. and the C. I heard you like <laughs> Ellen's game Heads Up. I do, I love you it. Do? You want to play Heads Up? I do want to okay, play Okay, we're going to play Heads Up as soon as we come back.